that's her theme song. Let's sing sound in the footprint there. Poor Miss Sheldon, who stands in sir the stand's been standing here since this whole thing started. It almost looks at home here in the park now. Yeah, I know. Okay. Press B if you want to skip text that you already read. Yeah. The tarps that were here yesterday are gone. I'm wondering why Trevor Sky put them out. Yeah, the only thing they were covering is the ground. Oh, you know, I think I see something there. A print. A uh, print? Show her the knife. I don't know if she'll say anything. No. Just ask scientifically. Three's badge. Fine, don't help us. Jeez. Okay, let's just talk to her. <sighs> let's uh, talk about you, Detective. Detective Sky, you know Mr. Wright, correct? How do you know my daddy? I want details! Ah? Uh, ah, uh, well... He helped me out a long time ago. You might say he saved me. Wasn't well, she saying something about getting involved in an accident? Or incident? I can't stand it when things are vague, especially in the case. I went to study to become a forensic scientist in Europe. But you are a detective now? Well, I failed the test. You f failed the test? You and you seem so, she seems so smart. But you know, rank and title, don't matter. What matters is what's inside your heart. I agree. I've always thought that too. And my heart is full of science. That's why I brought this kit through mail order. And I'm going to test it here before the Francis team arrives. Are you sure that's okay? I don't know. Let's talk to her about Gavin. I won't lie. I'm not fond of the man. Those glimmerous types always rub me the wrong way. Glamorous. Right. A prosecutor should be cool with wit and, and feared of brow, like some other prosecutor that we know from previous games. <laughs> and also, he has his own game too! The newest one, anyway. Less glimmerous and more simmerous, you know? No, actually, I don't. I do! Well, that and what happened seven years ago! Prosecutor Guy was the one who stripped Mr. Wright of his attorney's badge. But what? Really? He was the one? You mean you didn't know? To a prostitute, Gavin. So, Emma hates him because... He's glimmerous. And then he stripped uh, Phoenix of his attorney's badge. I thought you were one of his boys! I'm neither a boy nor one of his. But let's see what she has to say. Um, what exactly happened seven years ago? I never actually heard the details. They investigate. It's better you learned it for yourself, anyway. Why don't you ask Tracy? Shouldn't she know? Do you mind me asking exactly what is you've been doing? Squatting down on the ground like that? Ooh, you want to know? Do you? Well, I splurged on a new toy. You splurged? You mean it was a police issue? What is it? I see a roller... and glue? This is a footprint analysis kit. Footprint? It was raining on the night of the murder, which means that footprints were left. Oh, does that have anything to do with those blue tarps? Right, the ground was muddy, so I had to protect it as it was that night. Ever wanting to know exactly where someone was standing? Let your panty snatching student witness, for instance. Ah, uh -huh, so that with that kit, right? Yeah, so if because if <laughs> we could have like find out. Uh, if we have already uh, seen the footprint analysis stuff and see what's exactly standing next to the garbage can, <laughs> the case would have been easier to solve, but we had to wait until today. Oh well. What? Want to try this stuff out? Huh? Are you sure? I mean, we're sort of on opposing teams and all. Oh, pshaw! You're, f we're f you're friends! And to tell you the truth, I'm not good at doing I'm not, eh, I'm not so good at doing this. Guess I'm a little clumsy. I could use your help. Ooh, I'm good at stuff like this. I used to make magic but buttonies out of paper mache. And uh, mache was, didn't have an accent on it. For now, footprint analysis, huh? Well, I should should eh, well should I give should I give it a go? Well, let's try it. Okay, I'll give it a go. That's the spirit. 
Right, allow me to explain. Ahem, <clears throat> one moment. She's reading the instructions for her kit. Why did I just not fill me with confidence? <laughs> oh, Emma. First, we have to pick the footprint, or in this case, shoe print, we want to analyze. Or analyze. I can't read, seriously. I'm taking the liberty of marking all the shoe prints in the park. Well, which shoe prints should we start with? If we're going to verify the defense account, he here's the place to start. Shoe prints, prepare to be examined. Ooh, this is so exciting. Right, here goes first. More touchscreen thingies. Pour the plaster into the print until it's full. You try it. How am I supposed to do that? Uh, you just pour. Just touch the screen more than you want to pour the plaster. Like this. Hmm, that doesn't look too hard. If you run out of plaster in your baker before you're done, you have to start over. I don't know how that works. You have to start over if you mess up. Ah. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> There. Oh my god, that's terrible. <laughs> Not bad, you're handier with, with that than you look. What's that supposed to mean? On to, on to the next step. Um, dry the plaster until it turns white. Right, just touch it to direct the dryer. There, give it a shot. We're drying plaster, but not drying hair. Fun. Looks like it's harder nicely. Let's take a look. Hmm, yes, that's a good one. Next, look ink. Ready for the next step? Turn the roll, or use the roll to ink just the shoe print part. Hold on to that roll tight now and roll it up and down. Keep going until you get enough ink on there for a good print. It's really easy. <laughs> right now, the moment you've all been waiting for, let's take our print. Ready? Here it goes. I see gum. Let's see if we get a match. And we have shoe prints of, like, people. Look, she's wearing uh, high heels, apparently. I think Claver has a... Uh... Do you see that? Uh, that little symbol in the middle, on the top and bottom, is the symbol of uh, the Gavin and stuff. West Tickler, Pumakataki, Strange Foot, and there's Walkie, yep. We're for Kataki, so weird looking shoes. Um, Rackness, Dial Dune. Yeah, just looking at shoe prints, what fun. Let's compare. Really, you don't need to compare like that. You just look at it, right? <laughs> oh well. So the shoe prints belong to Walkie Tacky after all. He was in the park till night of the crime. Wow, I can almost see the signs at work. Don't you love it? Ah, nothing feels better. She's definitely way more interested into this than I am. Science makes her happy. Just let me know if you want to do some more. I'll be here, solving the case. Miss Science. Well, that's certainly bright in her mood. Uh, let's maybe... More footprint analysis. Is there a sky? Mind if we give it another go? Right, now I'll leave no print unanalyzed, I'm, I say. Now, to pick which print you want to now analyze, I need words. How the blue one down here? Eh. How come I can't go down? Fine, I'll send that. Seriously, okay. Okay, looking good. It's a little bit slipped there, but doesn't matter. The game really don't really matter if you missed a little pixel or something. Next to dry the plaster, drying plaster, drying plaster, drying plaster, drying plaster. Duh, duh, duh. Okay, I'm really bad at this. Hmm. Okay, let's take out the mold. Hmm, yes, that's a good one. Next, the kit ink. Yeah, this is easy. Oh. Right, now the moment you all been waiting for, let's take our print. Ready? Here it goes. What kind of shoe print is that? Huh? That's a funny shoe print. Is that even a shoe? It is strange. So smooth. 
Except for the part with the leaf. I guess without even looking at that, this print doesn't match any of our list. That's strange. Huh. Mystery print. That's strange. Another shoe print, please. Is this guy might be given another shot? I believe you're beginning to appreciate the wonder that is forensic science. Now to break which print you want to an analyze. Ah, print down here. Why can't I not get the print down there? Oh yeah, I already examined it. Oh duh, I forgot. Ah, uh, I need help. <laughs> Ah, perfect! Just three. Ah, oh, that's awesome. This is the first time I did it perfectly. <laughs> okay, looking good. Next, we dry the plaster. Dry, 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 dry. Now let's take out the mold. Mm, yes, that's a good one. Next thing. Eh. Yeah, it's pretty. Now let's. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, let's take our print. Ready, here it goes. It really doesn't matter how well you do. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. But it's fun. There's a nail on it or something. Let's see if we get a match. And that's Wesley Dickler's, of course, because he's a defendant. Of course, there'll be a shoe print next to the garbage can. So that verifies where he was standing. If they knew that earlier, we wouldn't have been... The case wouldn't go on for that long. So these shoe prints belong to Wesley Stickler. This affirms this testimony, the final version of it at least. Now we know where the panty snatcher was standing. But what about this mystery print? This print is far too smooth to be from a regular shoe. It is a shoe print of some kind though, that's for sure that's certain. So you have to wonder what's it doing here. It's right next to the Aldous noodle stand. It does make one wonder. Hey, you. Yes? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? You wouldn't have Pompin to have something in mind? Something that might have left the mystery shoe print? This mystery shoe does remind me of something. Uh, I wonder if it will work. Actually, no, I don't think so. Mm. Huh. No, sorry. No idea. Too bad. I wonder what it is. Something's familiar about that smooth surface. So, so smooth it's almost slippery. Slippery. Well, if you think of something, I'm all ears. Slippery. I know, I'm giving you a huge hint. Remember the slippers you got? Yeah, what else? Slippers for patients of the Mirage's like was, was found like that kind of mansion. Yeah, this is a uh, Mirage's clinic on it. Eh. This, yeah, there. This shoe print. This bottle is covered with paint. Ow, sorry about that. Huh? What's this weird shape here? It looks like a leaf was stuck to the bottom leaf when the wearer was stepped in some yellow paint. So the outline was left when the out when the leaf was removed. Ack, I got paint on my hand! Apollo! I saw you trying to wipe your hand on my cape! You bad boy. You do not do that. Actually, I do that to my brother. Never mind. Do do do. My brother doesn't hear this. No, he watches my LP. Because I promise I made him do it. Yeah. Because he won't play the game. Anyway, I wonder, could this be a print? Why would there be a finger? Oh, you mean a toe print? Good call, Paul. I bet we can analyze it just like a regular print. This could be a vital piece of evidence. Dusting for prints. I am dusting for prints. Ah. Yeah, it's blowing now. Hey, it worked. That looks like a big toe, maybe? Wow, I feel like the case is solved already. What was next? We have to match the print, right? Right, let's match it. Wait, the detective didn't give us a list of toe prints, Apollo. Oh, good point. Maybe we should ask her, get some expert advice. I guess so. I'm not sure she really qualifies as an expert. Let's first... Oh. Uh, yeah, let's present to her. Eh. Or... Okay, I need to re-talk to her about that mystery print. Uh, da-do! Heads around those noodles, I wonder, hey you, yes, why are you so quiet all of a sudden? 